The two Attack on Titan mid cards in the final episode of Season 1 are covered in Japanese text and depict a story. I'm gonna read that story, and I animated the whole thing as well. Subscribe if you're new, enjoy the video. One swelteringly hot night in the year 784, a lone miner attempted to pass through Walshina by going underneath it. A few days earlier, as he stood digging in the mines, shovel in hand, a thought suddenly came to him. Maybe I could have a better life if I go to Walshina. It was almost a revelation of sorts. For days after that, the miner walked until he found a spot in the dense forest along the wall where he would begin digging. No one would pass by it, and the thick foliage overhead would obscure the watchful eyes of the soldiers standing atop the wall. Knowing this, he decided to begin his operation the following night. He dug into the ground with the wide shovel he'd come to know so well, and made steady progress. Before long, the hole was so deep his entire body fit inside. When he could no longer toss the dirt he dug outside the hole, he began shoveling it into bags. He later disposed of them by climbing a ladder. Every once in a while he'd drink water, but he only stopped mining if he really needed to, like if his muscles would tighten up. The miner had absolute confidence in his ability to dig holes. It's what he'd done for 20 years straight, and during that time he learned to dig deeper, faster, and more efficiently than any of his peers. He could dig a path in no time through difficult tunnels that gave any other miner fits. But something felt different that day. He dug and he dug, but seemed to make no progress. Every time he made an attempt to dig horizontally, his shovel was rejected by the earth. The wall's foundation seemed to jut deep into the ground, preventing the miner from proceeding. Still, he did not give up. He had to enter Walshina no matter what. Life in Walshina was no longer his objective. It was meaningless to him. All that mattered was overcoming the wall. The miner made a promise to himself as he wiped the ever-flowing sweat from his brow. I'll stake my 20 years of digging on this. I will get past this wall. The hole had grown to four or five times the miner's own height when his shovel hit a hard floor of rock. Bedrock, he wondered? It seemed to be the same material as the wall's foundation. Using all of his strength, the miner plunged the shovel into the bedrock. He failed to so much as scratch it while his shovel broke from the impact. The miner let out a heaving sigh deeper than any hole he'd dug in his 20 years. A wall? The miner's friend asked, somewhat dubiously. Isn't it strange, he replied before helping himself to a drink. Why would there be a wall in the middle of the ground? The two sat around the table in the back of a tavern located on the outskirts of town. The man was the miner's only friend, and the two would often drink there after work. As always, no one had invited him to drink after work that day, so he'd gone to his usual tavern to tell his friend about what had happened the previous night. Surely the friend would never tell anyone, he thought. What if we're not only surrounded by walls on every side, but there's a wall below us as well? The miner asked. So what are the walls anyway, he continued, until his friend cut him off with a cough as he looked around the tavern. The other customers were busy drinking, trying to sweet-talk the tavern maiden, and hollering at one another. None were looking in the pair's direction. Still, the interruption was enough to make the miner stop discussing the wall. If someone else had so much as heard them, it wouldn't be long until the military police would show up. Oh, it's nothing to worry about, the friend said, gathering himself. Just keep on living here as you've done until now. You'll still be poor, but you'll have work and drink. That's enough, isn't it? Yeah, the miner replied. You're right. I'll go back to honest digging. It's probably what I'm cut out to do after all. But the miner didn't show up to work the next day. Nor was he there the following day or the one after that. The miner's friend visited his home a number of times, but he was never there. As he had no close family or spouse, no one knew where he could possibly be. The friend was at a loss as to what to do, and so he decided to tell the garrison regiment everything, including the details of the miner's efforts. A joint investigation was launched between the garrison regiment and the military police the next day. It seemed a bit excessive. The miner may have committed the crime of attempting to dig his way past the wall, but he was just an impoverished lone miner. The miner's friend couldn't understand why they went to such great efforts, but ultimately the miner was never found found and neither was the hole he supposedly dug up. Not only that, the miner's friend suddenly disappeared one day and has never been found since. Thanks for watching. I've never done anything like this, so if you thought it was cool, leave a comment and if you're new, subscribe to the channel. I'm Siren and I hope you have a great day.